So welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to talk about backups in Proxmox and I'll be honest I had one of those proper oh my god moments. So at some point I completely destroyed my whole cluster and I kind of thought to myself have I got backups and then I realized because it was a fairly new cluster I hadn't bothered to set them up so my advice is always set up backups as part of your installation. So that's what we're going to cover off today. Now I'm going to use a USB drive, just an external one. Now my recommended setup wouldn't be to do that. It would be to have a true NAS or some other NAS that you could set up an NFS share and back it up that way. However, for simplicity at the moment, I'm just going to do it with a standard USB drive and then I'll probably then set up something like SyncThing or something or other to push that over to an NFS share or even a cloud solution, potentially maybe you sound like R-Sync. But either way, here's a very quick guide on how to do backups in Proxmox using a USB drive. Okay, so today I wanted to talk to you about backups and what I've done, you'll probably notice, I'm just looking at my Quadro. I've added something called Dev SDG, which is a USB drive. So basically, this is a 12 terabyte, it's an old Western Digital black drive, but it's kind of ideal for backups because, you know, realistically, it's one place to put them. I will probably set up some kind of syncing to send them somewhere else as well at some point. But primarily, what I wanted to do today is show you an easy way to set up backups and kind of how to control those backups. So what I'm going to do is basically I've connected the drive. I know it's going to be SDG, so that's really simple for me. If I go on to shell, I'm just going to run a few commands. Let's just run that. Let's do a new uh, partition size and then write. Yeah, yes, we will write that. And then we should be able to quit. Okay, so that's done. So what we're then going to do basically is set it to ext4. So we'll do make fs dot ext4, and it will be dev. And what it will be is sdg one. So basically, it's first partition, and we'll proceed anyway. And that's now done for us. Just click on that. So it takes a little while, depending on the size. Obviously, this is quite a big drive, so that'll pull through what I need it to do. What I'm then going to do is make a mount point for this device, which once this is finished doing, we will carry on with. So there we are. That's all done. Right. What I'm now going to do is create a mount point. So all I'm going to do is quite simply make a DIR, and I'm just going to call it... Put it under mount and I'll just call it USB backup. So that's pretty much what it's going to be. Okay, now what we need to do is basically mount that drive to that device. So it'll be mount DEV SDG1 to EM MNT USB small backup and you can just call it whatever you like but that's what i'm going to call it so that's now mounted which should be good if we go into back into the proxmox part now um what we should be able to do is we go under here and go to storage we'll click add a directory what we should be able to do is basically give it a name so the name will be let's, let's keep it consistent so we'll call it usb backup and the directory name will be that mount location that we gave it so it will be for us emd usb underscore backup and that should work now what i'm going to do is give myself the option to have this have Backups, I don't want it to have the disk image. I'll let it keep ISOs, I'll let it keep container templates and potentially snippets as well. 
and we'll make that shared as well at that point. So click advance, that's fine. It should be able to click add. And that should appear on all of the devices. And there you go, it's mounted on that Picard. It's mounted on there, it's mounted on there, which is great. So that's what we're doing. Now, the only thing we're going to want to do is to make sure that it actually auto mounts. All we need to do is to run a command in the shell for that to happen. So if we go back to the shell, run the following command, it should do what I want it to do. And then I'm going to show you a little bit about backup. So once that command's run, it's going to pull down a bit of a package as well. But basically, it will just auto mount that drive for us, which is great. So that's done. So talking about backups, let's let's be realistic about this. So my Pi Hole now, I've got these that they use gravity sinks that they talk between themselves. But realistically, I'm going to want those to back up because what's the chances are I make a configuration change at some point and completely bogger it up. So from a backup point of view, what I need to do is basically potentially set a schedule for it. So at the moment, I could just do a straight backup if I wanted to do it. If I wanted to set up a schedule itself, I think it's done. For, yes, done from the data center. So what we can do is from here, we can add backups. So you actually go to the data center view and we can click add. So what we're going to do is basically just set up certain ones to back up so let's have for example i'm not going to have them all back up at the same time because i think that's silly the send email part i will update later however i've not done that video yet that's next up so again we can select the nodes i don't necessarily want all what i might do is just deliberately pick on well let's keep them as all because well let's just pick on quadro for now what i'm going to do is get true nas to back up at a certain time and realistically I think that needs to be uh, maybe not Sunday maybe let's get it to back up on a Thursday at 1am so that's going to back up tonight include selected VMs and then you've got the options of doing snapshots now I'm always going to use snapshots because I don't want it to suspend because snapshot will make it happen while the thing's running so let's just do that and retention wise i might set a number that we have so i might keep the last 10. so for 10 weeks i'm gonna have to clear it out so just a little bit of a reminder for myself note template you can add in some bits on here as well so I think it's a good idea to add in the node and VMD as well. So let's just drop those in. And then just put a little bit in there. And then click create. Don't 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 like Thursday, maybe just like uh, there you go. So every Thursday is going to do that. So that's that backup schedule done. Now, if I wanted to take a backup now, which I do want to do for this because I'm currently working on this on a video, I can just click backup now. And what it would do is this is actually offline at the moment, so I can actually just do a stop, it won't really matter. And then again, I'll have both of those done in here. I'm actually wanting to take a backup. It's going to take a backup at this point, and that will just run through. And I can do any of those, so I need to back up all of my cube nodes anyway. So what I'm going to do is just take a, a manual backup this way. And you can see they're all going to USB backup, and the USB backup is linked across all of them. So yeah, that's how you do the backups. So there we go. We've managed to complete a backup and also set some schedule ones. And I would strongly suggest having at least weekly backups for the majority of your virtual machines and containers. Don't do what I did. and Just assume everything will be okay. Also, if you're going to start making some configuration changes, why not take a snapshot prior to doing so? Makes life a little bit easier all around. 
So hopefully you found this video fairly informative. It's quite a simple guide, really. If you did, hit the like and subscribe button, and I will see you next time.